All right, let's review the plan procurement input outputs tools and techniques from the sixth edition PMBOK, a part of PM City from here, the crowd training. Now there's quite a lot, so let's kind of get through it all. Um, well, obviously starting with the inputs, we need to know what we're after and what we're doing. So one of the very earliest parts that we are considering and using is our project charter. So I'm kind of try and draw this uh, old looking document here. <laughs> but this is our charter, which kind of set out what we're trying to do what we're wanting to do possibly uh, not want to do. And it also might put some whole level boundaries to it, for instance, that we can't procure certain things or we can't use outside uh, materials or or resources but also too there could be various other business documents that are going to be useful for us to be able to do what we need to do and look at so our business documents kind of telling you know business case and where things are going um, we have our plans so knowing what we're seeking to do and how we're going to manage it so our project management plan I like to draw as a big file folder because in there that there are lots of different plans we're going to be making a procurement management plan as part of this but we also have to think about well how do we manage our quality how are we managing our um, resources how are we managing our schedule all those different things are various different plans a part of our overall project management plan also as an input to help us plan our procurements there are going to be various different project documents so those project documents could be one of many things like you know the um, the requirements like what are we required to do um, our risks what do we know that could happen or not happen and how likely we think they're going to happen lots of different project documents are very useful because if we know we have to procure or we have to get something we have to procure it well now we're planning to use that information to help us figure out how to in fact go about obtaining it also our culture is extremely relevant in how we go about doing this are we a startup company where we could just oh, go buy whatever we need to buy or must we go through a very formalized methodology in order to get anything purchased and go through certain groups, departments, whatever. So those are environment, enterprise environmental factors. And there could be templates and uh, other materials useful for us. I'm going to draw this binder of our organizational process assets that could help us, you know, maybe as a little checklist to get us through the various things that are part of our procurement. All right, those are the inputs. Now let's move on to the tools and techniques. Well, we have to figure out what is going to make sense for our particular project and the procurement need. So we need to um, gather some data. We need to look things up. So I'm just going to kind of draw somebody at a computer where they are looking at, you know, what is the price of things or where do we get it or who can supply it? The many different things that we could be gathering in our our research and our, our materials and um, you know what else might be of in need Two, on that we need to make you know some decisions whether or not it makes sense for us to go out and get it or just go ahead and do it ourselves so you know is it making sense for us to make it or just to go buy oops buy or lend or lease it you know that decision has to be made and so that's part of our oops, data analysis. And there's various different ways we can analyze the information, you know, like looking at the requirements and what we've gathered in our research and determine, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? All those different things. And how are we going to decide on it? So our source selections, because we have to have some kind of criteria that we are going to be using, you know, to say what we're looking at, what we're not wanting to look at, you know, things like costs and other relevant points, because we have to make a decision at the end. And so we have to kind of make plans in which how we're going to go about making those decisions. 
And likewise, we can expect lots of meetings about this and discussions and presentations maybe or just different informal discussions about how are we going to resource this and uh, acquire it um, and so meetings however formal informal we need to make those and then sometimes we just have to rely on you know people that know I'll just draw this guy saying <laughs> I know <laughs> And, you know, some people have worked with different vendors or worked with different procurement. Um, you worked with uh, different people, vendors, or just went about procuring things in a, the best way. So our expert judgment definitely is a tool that we are going to be relying on. Those are the tools and techniques. And finally, now let's move on to a long, long list of outputs. Um, well, this is a planning activity and so part of our our plans should be um, part of the project management plan is a procurement management plan Oops. this means how are we going to manage all of our procurement needs and wants and expectations and, and naming conventions all those different plans have to be figured out and all that is part of our project management plan now we also should have a strategy so um, maybe I'll draw like a little I don't know, chess piece or something because you know what direction we're thinking we're gonna go or not go and so that is our procurement strategy and um, also we should be determining which documentation is going to be best for us to get our procurements and so that could be an RFQ it could be RFP RF you know request for bid whatever it is we need to figure out what are the procurement documentations that is best so documents and that documentation and there could be many there could be some um, other things and also too using that how are we going to select so here we figured out our thinking and so this should be yep these are the things that we're looking for and maybe at this kind of scale but we need to have our source selection figured out so that way we can go about doing it so 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 that source selection criteria and we might also issue a statement of work but this is a procurement statement of work which is listing out all the things that we're looking for and that way a contractor or vendor or somebody might use that as their um, as maybe creating their bid or are working from that also here we had the analysis of whether or not to make or buy or lend or lease and so we should all have a decision made as to what is the best course of action and so that is our decision for our make or buy and um, but we might also too need to get some research and facts and and get more information as to what are the expected costs for our needs and so those could be independent of us or could come from within the group but ideally we want to get uh, something from outside for a cost estimate and sometimes too we're going to find out that you know what what we've decided on or are looking for or planning on are not going to be useful and so we need to change it so we might have some change requests and two with all this work going on we're going to be updating all of our documentations you know our risks because if we're using a certain vendor well there's opportunity there but there's also a threat and we might also find that you know the templates that we've been using need some updating maybe they could be better or maybe they're really good and we just kind of have to point that out but uh, the documents updates and our organizational process asset updates so as you see there's quite a lot of outputs but really we're just trying to determine you know what are the plans and we're every time we need to procure more things we might go through this process as many times as necessary and we might not have all these outputs or most likely we will
And that is a quick review of the planned procurements process in the 6th edition PMBOK from the crowd training.